Hello, Romies. Welcome to the DIY Sleeping Quarters, where we share all of our DIY projects for our home share. This video will be a video on how to save money when hosting a paint and sip from your home or as a business. The first thing you can do to save money is to eliminate waste. What I mean by that is to reduce the amount of paint that is thrown out. To do this as a host, be in control of your paint by pouring the paint for participants and not leaving the paint on the table for participants to pour freely. They usually over pour and this results in waste. Secondly, you can save money by not purchasing extras. Instead of buying the cute plastic paint trays that can be hard to clean and costly, use plastic plates. They are inexpensive and make for an easier cleanup. Thirdly, consider buying only primary colors and neutrals. Primary colors are blue, yellow, and red. These colors are used to create secondary colors such as green, orange, and purple. Neutrals are black, white, and I'll even add in blue to brown too. Black and white can change the tint and shade of the second and primary colors. And brown is for that melanin, that black girl magic. So instead of buying nine colors, you are buying six and saving money on product costs. Note, blue and yellow makes green, yellow and red makes purple, yellow and red makes orange, and blue and red makes purple. And fourth, limit colors. And what I mean by this is if you are new to hosting, buy only the colors needed to do the work of art that you're doing until you make a profit to buy more products. So for the Panther, I only poured blue, white, and black on the, pa on the paper plate. Participants mix the black and white to make the gray and mix the blue and white to make the appropriate shade of blue. So that's three paints. You're saving costs, people. Also, feel free to coupon. AC Moore and Michaels always have sales. So for instance, the 40% off one regular price item or the 20% off entire purchase, including sale items, are typical coupons that you'll see on AC Moore or Michaels uh, website. In addition, buying in bulk can save you on costs as well as trips to the store. Note, when you buy a large amount of anything, the price of individual units tend to be lower, which save you money or cents on the dollar. And lastly, reuse your brushes. I usually rinse the brushes with cold water and soap until the bristles are clean and dry them immediately. So that is it. Seven ways to save money on a paint and sip party. If you can think of any other way to save money hosting a paint and sip, please comment below. Your comments may help someone else. Also, if you enjoyed this video or want to join the squad as an official roomie, click the subscribe button. Be sure to check the description box for related links. And as always, thank you for watching.